We stand on the edge of opportunity, a moment in time where the choices we make can redefine the course of our lives. Each of us here is on a journey, a journey not only through the world, but across the vast landscape of our own potential. The steps we take, the decisions we make, not only shape our destiny, but also the destiny of those around us. And in this journey, it is crucial to understand that the most significant barriers we face are often those we create ourselves. Imagine, if you will, a world where every obstacle is not a hindrance but a stepping stone. A world where every challenge is an opportunity to learn, grow, and progress. This is not just a dream, it is a possible reality. But to reach this reality, we must first adopt a mindset of resilience and determination. We must see beyond immediate struggles and recognize that every difficulty is a chapter in our story of triumph. The essence of this journey lies in understanding that our lives are a reflection of our thoughts and actions. What we think, we become. What we sow, we reap. This timeless truth holds the key to unlocking our full potential. Every thought, every action, is like a seed planted in the garden of our future. Just as a gardener tends to their crops, we must nurture our dreams with positivity, hard work, and an unwavering belief in our abilities. My friends, the path to success is rarely solitary. Our growth is intertwined with the lives of others. As we ascend the ladder of success, let us not forget to extend a hand to those who follow us. The true measure of our achievements lies not only in the heights we reach, but in the assistance we provide to others. This spirit of collaboration, of mutual support, is what forges communities, builds nations, and creates a legacy that transcends our individual lives. The importance of balance in the pursuit of success is like walking a tightrope. Lean too far in any direction, and we risk losing our balance. It is about harmonizing our ambitions with our values, our work with our well-being, our personal goals with our responsibilities to others. This balance is vital to maintaining our momentum towards our goals without losing sight of what truly matters. So while we are here today, let us make a commitment. A commitment to pursue our dreams with vigor, to face our challenges with courage, and to walk our path with integrity. Let us strive not only for personal success, but for the well-being of all. For by lifting others, we ourselves ascend, not just as individuals striving for personal glory, but as a collective striving for a greater good. Thank you. It is truly an honor to be here with all of you today. I want to talk about something that resonates deeply with each of us. The concept of success. You see, success is not just a destination. It is a journey, a process that each of us embarks upon. But what truly defines success? Is it the accumulation of wealth, praise, or is it something deeper, more intrinsic? Imagine success as a tapestry woven with the threads of our choices, actions, and beliefs. Each thread represents a decision, a step taken or not taken on our path. Some threads are vibrant, full of color and strength, representing our triumphs and victories. Others may be a bit frayed, reflecting the moments when we stumbled or faced challenges. Yet, it is this intricate blend that creates the beautiful picture of our lives. Now let's focus on the importance of goals in our journey. Goals are like the stars sailors used to navigate by. They guide us, give us direction, and keep us on course during the darkest nights. When we set a goal, it's not just a statement of intention, it's a commitment to ourselves. It's a decision to embark on a journey that will challenge us, propel us, and ultimately transform us. Goals are the fuel that propels us forward, igniting our passions and giving our journey purpose and meaning. But setting a goal is just the beginning. The real magic happens in the pursuit. It's in the effort, the stretching beyond our comfort zones, where we discover our true potential. This pursuit is not always easy. There will be obstacles, detours, and sometimes roadblocks along the way. But remember, the value of our goals lies not only in their achievement, but in who we become as we strive for them. Every challenge we overcome, every barrier we break down, contributes to our resilience, our character, and our capacity. Think about it. The path to success is rarely a straight line. It's more like a winding road with ups and downs, twists and turns. It's these turns that test our determination, our commitment to our goals. Each time we choose to persevere, to rise after a fall, we are weaving another thread in our tapestry of success.
We are building a story not only of achievements but of resilience, determination, and growth. And what about the moments when success seems elusive? When our goals seem out of reach, it is in these moments that our mindset makes the difference. A positive growth-oriented mindset sees challenges not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities to learn, grow, and evolve. It's a mindset that understands that every setback is a setup for a comeback, that every failure is a stepping stone to success. In this journey, we are not alone. The people we meet, the relationships we build, are crucial landmarks on our path. From mentors who guide us to peers who challenge us, and friends who support us, each person adds a unique thread to our tapestry. They offer perspectives that can change our course for the better, wisdom that lights our way, and encouragement that lifts us when we falter. Let us not forget to pause and reflect. Reflection allows us to look back on our journey, to appreciate how far we've come, and to learn from the experiences we've had. It's a time to celebrate our victories, acknowledge our growth, and recalibrate our course if necessary. It's not just any journey, but one that traverses the landscapes of our aspirations and dreams. It's a journey about the power of setting goals, a tool so potent yet so underutilized in our daily lives. Imagine, if you will, a ship setting sail without a destination. Where does it end up? Nowhere, adrift without direction. That's exactly what life is like without goals. Consider the concept of goal setting as the compass of your life. It provides direction, purpose, and a clear path amidst the chaos of daily existence. Each of us has a reservoir of untapped potential waiting to be unleashed. But how do we access this reservoir? The answer lies in setting goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound goals. It's not just about dreaming big. It's about breaking down those dreams into smaller, achievable steps. Now let's delve into why many of us avoid setting goals. It's fear. The fear of failure. The fear of stepping out of our comfort zone. But let me share a secret with you. Within that same fear lies the seed of growth and success. We've all heard the saying, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This couldn't be more true in the context of setting goals. Embrace the possibility of failure because it's not the fall that defines us, but our ability to rise again, stronger, and wiser. Setting goals is like planting a garden. You sow the seeds of your aspirations, nurture them with constant effort, and gradually witness the growth, the fruition of your efforts in tangible results. Now imagine a world where every individual sets goals and diligently works towards achieving them. The cumulative effect would be transformative, not only on a personal level, but also on a societal level. We would witness innovation, progress, and achievements that currently lie dormant, untapped in the minds of many. But how do we begin? It starts with self-reflection. Understand your core values, your passions, and your strengths. Align your goals with these, and you'll find that your journey towards them becomes more rewarding and less arduous. It's about finding that sweet spot where your abilities and your passions converge. Here is where the magic happens. Where work no longer feels like work, and obstacles become stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Setting a goal is just the beginning. The real challenge and the real reward come from the journey towards its achievement. It's a path of self-discovery, of pushing your limits, and realizing your true potential. It's not an overnight transformation. It's a gradual step-by-step -step process. Every small victory is a building block towards your larger goal. It's not just any journey, but a journey of persistence and perseverance, the very essence of human triumph. Imagine, if you will, a path unfolding before you, full of twists and turns, ups and downs. It's not the smoothness of this path that shapes us, but the relentless momentum to keep moving forward, come what may. You see, life has a peculiar way of testing our determination. There will be moments when you feel like you're walking against a strong wind, trying to push you back to where you started. But it is precisely in these moments, my friends, that the true strength of character is forged. Remember, it's not the number of times we stumble or fall that defines us, but the number of times we get up, dust ourselves off, and keep marching forward. Think of it like navigating through a dense forest. Initially, the thickness of the forest, the darkness, may overwhelm you. You might even think, how am I going to overcome this? But with every step, you clear your path, and soon you'll see a clearing. It's this perseverance, 
the unwavering belief in your ability to reach that clearing that defines your journey. Now consider the power of persistence. It's like a steady, gentle stream that, over time, can carve its way through the most imposing mountains. It's not about a sudden monumental push, but rather about consistent, persistent effort. The greatest achievements in our world were not the result of sporadic bursts of energy, but the culmination of persistent, enduring effort. As we journey through life, we'll encounter challenges that seem insurmountable. There may be days when you feel like giving up, where the ultimate goal seems too far off. It's in these moments, my friends, that you must remind yourself why you started this journey in the first place. The vision that ignited your journey is the same fire that will keep you moving forward in the darkest moments. And let's not forget the vital role of adaptability in our journey. The ability to adapt, to change course when necessary, is as important as the ability to persist. Imagine navigating a vast ocean. If a storm approaches, the skilled sailor doesn't persist in the same course. They adapt. They navigate through the storm, always keeping their destination in sight. Similarly, we must be willing to adapt our strategies, our approaches to the challenges we face, while firmly keeping our eyes on the prize. In this journey of life, filled with its trials and tribulations, it's important to remember that every challenge, every obstacle, is an opportunity to grow, learn, and emerge stronger. It's these trials that shape us, make us more resilient, capable individuals. Like a diamond formed under immense pressure, our true potential often shines brightest after enduring the harshest conditions. Embrace each challenge with open arms. See them as steps rather than obstacles. Each one is a lesson, an opportunity to refine your skills, strengthen your determination, and move closer to your ultimate goal. The path of persistence and perseverance is not a solitary one. Along the way, you'll encounter others, fellow travelers who share your vision and determination. Lean on them, learn from them, and in turn, be a source of strength and wisdom for others. We're here not just in pursuit of success, but in pursuit of something much more valuable. Mastery over ourselves. The journey towards discipline and self-control is a less traveled path, but it's the path that leads to true achievement in life. The most significant victories are those we conquer within ourselves. This journey begins with understanding the power of discipline. Discipline is not just about adhering to rules or routines, it's about freedom. Yes, freedom. It may sound paradoxical, but true freedom comes from discipline. When you have the discipline to control your actions, your thoughts and your emotions, you're no longer a slave to impulses, momentary desires, or fleeting feelings. You become the master of your destiny. The disciplined individual is like a skilled captain, guiding their ship through turbulent seas. The ocean may be choppy, the winds may be strong, but the captain remains steadfast, steering the ship towards its destination. Now think about self-control. It's an art. A skill that you hone over time. It's about knowing yourself so deeply that you can anticipate your own responses. And most importantly, not just reacting to life as it happens, but responding with reflection and intention. Self-control is the ultimate form of self-care, as it involves taking responsibility for your actions, your well-being, and your journey through life. Imagine this. Every morning, you wake up with a choice. The choice to set the tone for your day. The choice to embrace positivity or succumb. The disciplined individual understands this power of choice and wields it wisely. They choose to see challenges as opportunities for growth. They choose to replace I can't with I will. They choose to focus on solutions rather than worry about problems. Let's not forget the role of habits. Our lives are essentially the sum of our habits. What we do daily, consistently, becomes who we are. The beauty of discipline is that it helps us form habits that align with our deepest values and loftiest goals. Whether it's waking up early, exercising regularly, reading daily, or working diligently, these are the building blocks that construct the edifice of success. But the journey towards self-control is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not about drastic changes made in a day. It's about small, consistent, incremental improvements. Every day, you become a little better a little stronger, a little more disciplined. And over time, these small advances add up to a monumental transformation. Now tackle a crucial part of this journey, dealing with setbacks. The path towards self-control is paved with challenges, and it's inevitable that we'll face setbacks. 
But what defines us is not how we fall, but how we rise. Discipline teaches us resilience. It arms us with the strength to face failures, learn from them, and move forward with greater wisdom and determination. Every setback is preparation for a comeback. As we progress on this path, it's important to surround ourselves with people who support and inspire our growth. Jim Rohn famously said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Choose to spend time with those who embody the values of discipline and self-control. May their strength and commitment inspire you, and in turn, be a source of inspiration for others. We're here to talk about something that truly transforms lives, careers, and businesses. The power of continuous learning and adaptability. It's a journey of evolution, growth, and prosperity in a world that is constantly changing. Imagine this. You're on a boat in the middle of a vast ocean. The waters are calm one moment, and the next, a storm approaches. Now, if you're not prepared, if you haven't learned to navigate through these storms, you'll find yourself adrift at the mercy of the relentless waves. But if you've honed your skills, if you've learned and adapted, not only will you survive the storm, but you'll emerge stronger. In our lives, we often face storms like these. They come in the form of challenges at work, changes in our personal lives, or unexpected turns in our environment. To navigate through these storms, it's necessary to continually learn and adapt. It's about expanding your horizons, acquiring new skills, and being ready to change course when necessary. Let me share a story with you. I once met a young entrepreneur brimming with enthusiasm and brilliant ideas. But after a few years his business hit a rough patch. The market changed. The competition became fierce. What did he do? He didn't stand still. He learned. He adapted. He embraced new technologies, studied his competitors, understood his customers better. And in doing so, he not only saved his business, he took it to heights he never imagined. This story is not unique. It's a narrative shared by many successful people in different fields. They understand that the only constant in life is change. And to move forward, to keep winning, you need to keep learning. It's not just about acquiring knowledge. It's about applying it, adapting it to your context, making it work for you. Now some might say, I'm too old to learn or I don't have time. But let me tell you, learning knows no age limit and time. It's all about priorities. Even dedicating just 30 minutes a day to learning something new adds up to over 180 hours a year. Imagine the growth that brings. It's also about mindset. A mindset that sees challenges as opportunities to grow, that understands the value of stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about being like water, fluid, adaptable, taking the shape of any vessel it finds itself in. In life, be like water, flow, adapt, overcome. The world doesn't stop, and neither should you. Your willingness to learn, to adapt, to change course when necessary, is what will set you apart. It's what will not only help you survive but thrive in this ever-changing world. I want you to think about areas of your life where you can apply this. Perhaps it's learning a new skill that can advance your career. Perhaps it's understanding a new technology that can transform your business. Or it could be as simple as reading a book on a topic you know little about. Life is a series of choices and each choice comes with its own set of risks and rewards. The path to success is not always a straight line. It often involves making tough decisions and taking bold steps. Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, the sea stretching out before you, the wind in your hair. You know the water below is deep enough, and you've seen others jump before. Yet there's that moment of doubt, that instant where fear and excitement collide. It's in that moment, the decision to jump or retreat where the essence of taking calculated risks lies. Now think about the last time you faced a significant decision. Maybe it was about changing jobs, starting a new business, or even moving to a new city. These moments are crucial. They define the trajectory of our lives. But how do we know whether to take the leap or not? The key lies in the word calculated. It's not about taking reckless risks, but about making informed decisions. Every successful person you've ever heard of has taken risks. But what sets them apart is their approach. They gather information, evaluate their options, and consider the potential outcomes. They don't jump blindly. They jump with knowledge and preparation. Don't confuse risk-taking with recklessness. A reckless person might see the cliff and jump without knowing how deep the water is. A calculated risk-taker, on the other hand, 
does their homework. They understand the depth of the water, the weather conditions, and their own ability. They know there's a chance they may swim or they may sink, but they've done everything they can to tilt the odds in their favor. So how do we apply this in our lives, especially in our professional lives? It starts with understanding your goals. What are you aiming for? What does success look like for you? Once you have a clear vision, you begin gathering information. You research. You learn. You ask questions. You talk to people who have walked the path before you. This process not only increases your chances of success, it also builds your confidence. And then there's the aspect of timing. Timing can be the difference between a leap that leads to success and one that leads to failure. There's a time to act and a time to wait. The art lies in knowing the difference. Sometimes, the best action is patience, allowing things to align. Other times you need to seize the moment before it slips away. Be honest. Even with the best preparation, risk-taking can be daunting. It's natural to feel afraid when faced with uncertainty. But remember, growth and comfort don't coexist. To grow personally or professionally, you must step out of your comfort zone. It's in doing the things that scare us that we find strength and resilience we never knew we had. Let me share a story with you. Once there was a young entrepreneur full of dreams and aspirations. He had a business idea he passionately believed in, but launching it meant leaving a stable job, investing his savings, and venturing into the unknown. He hesitated, understandably. What if he failed? What if he lost everything? But then, he took a deep breath and reminded himself of all the preparation he had done. He had researched his market, sought advice from mentors, and created a solid business plan. So he took the leap. Today he runs a successful company, but it all started with that bold step. In the journey of life, the paths we choose are not only determined by the steps we take, but also by the hands we hold along the way. Start by considering the fabric of our daily interactions. Every person we meet, every conversation we have, intertwines into the tapestry of our life. It's like walking through a garden. Some people are like roses, beautiful and inspiring, but with thorns that teach us caution. Others are like sunflowers, bright, upright, and always seeking the light. It's essential to recognize these differences, to understand who lifts us up and who holds us back. Now think of a moment when someone's words or actions deeply impacted you. It could have been a small gesture or a grand act of kindness. These moments are like seeds planted in the soil of our relationships. They take root, they grow, and they bloom into connections that can support us, guide us, and help us weather life's storms. But here's the thing about relationships. They require nurturing. Just as a garden needs water and sunlight, our relationships need attention and care. A kind word here, an attentive ear there. These are the drops of water that sustain them. Remember, it's not about the quantity of people you know. It's about the quality of those connections. It's about surrounding yourself with people who see your worth, who challenge you to be better, and who celebrate your success. It's crucial to be a gardener yourself, to give more than you receive, to be the person others can rely on, to bring positivity and strength to others. It's in giving that we receive more. When you help someone else reach their dreams, you're building a bridge to yours. It's a cycle of goodwill that comes back to you in ways you can never imagine. Sometimes, we need to prune our gardens. We need to make tough decisions about who we allow into our inner circle. Not everyone has your best interests at heart. It's okay to say goodbye to relationships that drain you or undermine your values. This isn't selfish. It's self-care. It's about making space for growth, for new connections that align with who you are and who you aspire to be. Now I want you to think about your own life, your own garden of relationships. Who are the roses, the sunflowers? Who are the weeds? And what kind of plant are you in others' gardens? Reflect on these questions. The answers might surprise you. Not just in each other's presence, but in the presence of possibilities, of dreams, and of the future that awaits us. It's a future not determined by the winds of chance, but by the seeds of thought we plant in the fertile soil of our minds. Yes, we're here to talk about cultivating a mindset. Not just any mindset, but a mindset of success. It's not about floating abstract ideas. It's about concrete steps, actionable strategies, and real-life transformations. Consider for a moment, the journey of a river. It starts as a small trickle, barely noticeable, 
flowing gently over rocks and weeds. But as it travels, it gathers strength, fed by countless streams and tributaries, until it becomes a mighty, unstoppable river. That's the journey of a success mindset. It starts with a single thought, a mere drop in the ocean of consciousness. But over time and persistence, it grows into a powerful force that shapes our destiny. You see, the first step toward developing this mindset is belief. Belief, not in the ethereal or unattainable, but belief in oneself. It's the kind of belief that says, yes, I can do this. Yes, I am capable. Yes, the path may be filled with challenges, but I have the strength to overcome them. This belief doesn't happen overnight. It's nurtured like a delicate sapling through the sunlight of positive affirmations and the water of consistent action. And what comes after belief? Action. Action is the bridge between the possible and the real. It's the movement that turns dreams into realities. Be clear. Action isn't just about being busy. It's about being effective. It's about knowing what steps to take and when to take them. It's about understanding that every journey, no matter how long, starts with a single step, and then another, and then another. Amidst these steps, challenges will inevitably arise. But here's where our mindset transforms challenges into steps. Every difficulty, every obstacle, becomes an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to emerge stronger on the other side. It's like forging steel. The process involves intense heat and hammering, but the result is a material of unmatched strength and resilience. That's what challenges do to a success mindset. They forge it into something stronger. Don't underestimate the role of goals in all of this. Goals are the stars by which we navigate our ship. They provide direction and purpose to our actions. Without goals, action is like a ship without a rudder, tossed by the waves of circumstances. But with clear, well-defined goals, every effort, every struggle, brings us closer to our destination. However, setting goals is just the beginning. The real magic lies in commitment, the unwavering dedication to see things through, to stay on course even when shrouded in the fog of uncertainty. It's about waking up each day with a renewed sense of purpose, a rekindled fire in our hearts, and a firm resolve in our spirits. You're not alone. Just as a tree relies on the soil, the sun, and the rain for its growth, we too depend on others for our success. It's through the wisdom of mentors, the support of peers, and the feedback from our environment that we refine our strategies, sharpen our skills, and keep moving forward. It's about building relationships that uplift, networks that support, and communities that empower. I'm excited to have the opportunity to talk to you about something I believe is the cornerstone of any successful journey, developing a success mindset. You see, the path to success is much like navigating uncharted territory. It's filled with obstacles, challenges, and uncertainties. But with the right mindset, every step forward becomes a pathway to reaching your fullest potential. Let's start by understanding what success really means. Success isn't just about accumulating wealth, accolades, or achieving high status. It's about realizing your best personal version, reaching goals that are meaningful to you, and making a positive impact on others' lives. It's as much about the journey as it is about the destination. Every successful person I've ever met has a story, a narrative that's not marked solely by their achievements, but by the obstacles they've overcome, the lessons they've learned, and the resilience they've shown. Now you might wonder, how does one cultivate a success mindset? It starts with clarity. Clarity of purpose is your compass on this journey. Ask yourself, what is it that you really want? What drives you? What impact do you want to make? This isn't just about setting goals. It's about understanding your why, the reason that fuels your passion and perseverance. Once you have clarity, the next step is to build confidence. Confidence comes from recognizing and embracing your strengths and also acknowledging your weaknesses. It's about knowing that you have the capacity to learn, grow, and adapt. Remember, confidence isn't a static state. It's a muscle that strengthens with use. Every challenge you face and overcome contributes to your confidence. Now, let's talk about focus. In a world full of distractions, maintaining focus on your goals is crucial. It's easy to get sidetracked, to lose sight of where you're working towards. But remember, focus is more than just avoiding distractions. It's about aligning your actions with your goals, making conscious decisions every day that bring you closer to your aspirations. 
Another key aspect of a success mindset is embracing challenges. Challenges aren't obstacles. They're opportunities for growth. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to learn something new, to test your limits, and to emerge stronger. It's important to view challenges through a lens of positivity and as steps towards greater heights. Now resilience plays a crucial role in your journey. There will be setbacks. There will be failures. But what separates those who achieve success from those who don't is their ability to bounce back. Resilience is about facing adversity with courage and determination. It's about not letting failures define you, but using them as learning experiences. Every setback is preparation for a comeback. As we progress on this path, it's important to surround ourselves with people who support and inspire our growth. Jim Rohn famously said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Choose to spend time with those who embody the values of discipline and self-control. May their strength and commitment inspire you, and in turn, be a source of inspiration for others. We're here to talk about something that truly transforms lives, careers, and businesses. The power of continuous learning and adaptability. Moreover, cultivating a positive attitude is vital. A positive attitude doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties. It means facing them with a mindset focused on solutions, not problems. It's about maintaining a sense of optimism and hope, even in the face of challenges. Cultivating strong relationships and a support network is crucial for developing a success mindset. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who challenge you to be better, and who support your growth. These relationships are the safety nets that can catch you when you fall, and the cheering squad that celebrates your victories. Finally, let's talk about action. A success mindset is not just about having the right thoughts and feelings. It's about putting them into action. It's about taking consistent and deliberate steps towards your goals. Action is the bridge between where you are and where you want to be. It's about turning your dreams and aspirations into reality. In conclusion, developing a success mindset is a journey in itself. It requires clarity, confidence, focus, resilience, a positive attitude, strong relationships, and action. Remember, the road to success is rarely a straight line. It's a winding path full of ups and downs. Embrace the journey with an open heart and a determined spirit and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Thank you for your time, and I wish you all the best on your journey to success. Allow me to share with you a fundamental truth that has the power to shape the very course of your life. You become what you think most of the time. Yes, you heard me right. Your thoughts, my friends, hold the key to your destiny. For it is not the circumstances of our lives, but the thoughts we nurture within our minds that determine our reality. Every action, Every achievement, every success begins as a mere thought. A whisper of possibility in the recesses of our consciousness. And as we nurture these thoughts, as we feed them with belief, determination, and unwavering focus, they take root and blossom into the reality we inhabit. So, I urge you to pause and reflect on the nature of your thoughts. What occupies your mind most of the time? Are they thoughts of success, of abundance, of possibility? Or do you find yourself mired in doubt, fear, and negativity? Remember, you have the power to choose your thoughts. You have the power to shape your destiny. So, dare to dream big. Believe in the limitless potential within you. For as you think, so shall you become. What we do in life, from beginning to end, is solve problems. Throughout your life, you'll be solving problems. Small ones like running out of toothpaste at home and big ones like your client canceling an order, among others. And the better you become at it, it almost becomes automatic. There comes a point where people start coming to you and say, I have this problem, and you seem to solve problems. What can we do? I teach this all the time. Instead of reacting to a problem with anger or disappointment, I tell them, wait a moment, whatever it is, I can solve it. I just have to find a way to do it. And it never occurs to them that they can do it too. Sometimes you'll have solutions that don't work at all and that are very expensive or even fail, and there's not much you can do about those. But basically, most things can be solved. One of the things I say is that nothing makes you angrier than seeing someone dumber than you doing better than you. You wonder, how can this idiot be doing so well? It's like when I went to the top salespeople and asked them why they were so successful. They told me what they were doing, I did it, and I sold more. 
One of the biggest success principles you'll find is learning from experts. Learning from people who are already demonstrating the results you want to achieve. You can save yourself years of hard work simply by learning from people who have already learned it themselves. The clearer you are about what you're trying to achieve, the faster you'll achieve it. And in fact, people with clearly written goals and plans, with priorities, achieve 10 times more in life than people without them. Be clear about your top three tasks and help everyone else be clear about their top three tasks. So everyone is always working on the three most important things they can do. And you hire other people who can do the task at a lower cost than your top people. That's the leader's task. Decide on your goals and your most important goal, and then start each day with a list. Then you look at your list and ask yourself, if I could only do one thing on this list, what activity or task would I want to make sure I completed before leaving town for a month? That becomes your most important task for the day. It's your biggest task, the one you're most likely to procrastinate on, but also the one that will have the greatest positive impact on your career if you do it now. If you have two really important tasks, make one more important. And discipline is working with a single focus on that task no matter what happens. Stick with that task because you've now decided that everything else is relative and a waste of time except this task. If you can do that and develop the habit, you'll double your productivity on the first day, and it will continue to increase throughout your career. Everyone wants to feel like winners. Who among us doesn't yearn for that triumphant sensation of victory, the elation of crossing the finish line first, basking in the glory of achievement? But how does one attain such a sensation, you may ask? The answer, my friends, lies in the power of setting and conquering goals. With every task accomplished, no matter how small, you experience a taste of victory. Your self-esteem soars, your confidence blossoms, and joy radiates from within. It's as if each completed task is a stepping stone to greatness, propelling you forward on the path to success. And what about those pivotal moments when you choose to tackle your most important task head-on, pushing yourself to the limits until the wee hours of the morning, despite the fatigue that may weigh heavy upon your shoulders? There's a sense of exhilaration that courses through your veins, a feeling so addictive, so invigorating, that you find yourself craving it time and time again. These are the moments that fuel what I like to call positive addictions. They stem from the fulfillment derived from setting and achieving tasks that hold profound significance in our lives. So, I implore you, embrace the power of setting meaningful goals, for in their pursuit lies the key to unlocking your fullest potential. When you're happy all the time, when you're respected and appreciated by the people around you, and you feel proud, you have a positive self-image, and people appreciate you, you'll make more money. Make a list. Identify your most important task. Start with that, and stick with it until it's done. However, world-class people have a much bigger vision of what's possible for them. Imagine that you could go from X to your current income to 10 times your current income, and your first response to that is that it's completely absurd. There's no way I can increase my income 10 times. It's not possible. All you need to do now is to do the same things you did to double or triple your income, and it will double or triple again, and then you will increase it fourfold. There are people all over the world earning 10 times more than you, and they're not better or smarter than you. Most of us start to develop narrow thinking around our current income, and then we adjust our lives, force our entire world to fit our current income, while successful people create a vision. So when you start to think, well, if your business were world class, if you were world class, how would you be different from today? This is the key. Take the first step. The first step forces you out of your comfort zone, and the comfort zone is so strong that probably 90% of people are limited in their maximum potential all their lives because of this comfort zone. And when you take the first step, the only way to do it is to step out of it, and suddenly you see the second step and the third step and the fourth step. And as you take those steps, your self-esteem increases, your self-confidence increases, and you become more creative, and you start to think of all sorts of ideas. 85% of self-made millionaires, when asked how they became millionaires with all the competition, said it was hard work, and I haven't found any exceptions to that worldwide, in all languages and cultures. Successful people work harder than the average person, and very hard at the beginning of their careers. Sometimes they work 6 days a week, 59 hours, and sometimes 7 days a week and 8 hours. The average is 59 hours, 6 days a week. Everyone wants to be successful and nobody is better or smarter than you. All the negative activities in your life, all the failures and frustrations, all the negative emotions, come from your lack of acceptance of responsibility. 
Have you ever noticed how easy it is for people to dwell on past hurts and grievances? It's as if they're carrying the weight of resentment on their shoulders, burdening themselves with the actions of others. But let me share with you three profound insights that have the power to transform your life. The first revelation came to me when I realized the importance of setting goals. If you desire to multiply your income tenfold, it all begins with a simple act, writing down your goals. But don't stop there, my friends. Craft a detailed plan of action and commit to it with unwavering determination. Each day, take deliberate steps towards your goals and watch as your dreams manifest into reality. Now, on to the second point, continuous learning. Consider this, my friends. Every titan of industry, every billionaire magnate has one thing in common. They are relentless students of life. Think of luminaries like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Richard Branson. They didn't achieve success by chance. No, they dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge, investing countless hours into expanding their minds. Warren Buffett himself devours 500 pages of wisdom each day, a testament to the power of continuous learning. And finally, my friends, let me ask you this. Why aren't you doubling your income and soon? The path to prosperity lies not in idleness, but in action. So seize the opportunity before you, my friends. Embrace the power of goal setting, commit to a lifetime of learning, and watch as the universe unfolds its abundance before your very eyes. If you ask the question, the answer will appear. And then, just start doing what you need to do every day. Then read, learn, listen, improve your skills. Because you can learn anything you need to learn. And the more you learn, the more you'll be able to learn. Your level of self-esteem or self-worth, your sense of self-value, how much you like and respect yourself determines the overall quality of your life. All the positive things you do increase your self-esteem, improve your self-image, improve the quality of your relationships with other people, and allow you to have a wonderful life. Here are seven rules you can apply to achieve anything you want. 1. Take reaching the top seriously. Until you decide that by all means, you're going to be the best at what you do, you won't emerge under the sun, and your life won't be forever different. 2. Take excellent care of your health. Some people don't do well because they don't feel well. Since the mind and body work together, you must take care of the body as a support system. 3. Surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with positive individuals, with people who have goals and plans, with people who are going somewhere in their lives and have high aspirations. 4. Find out what's holding you back. The only thing that restricts what you do is your own thinking. Take your current income or your best income year and add a zero to it as your goal. 5. Positive visualization. Become like the best in your field. Your self-image controls your performance. If you see yourself as a success, if you see yourself as happy and positive and confident and in control, you will act that way towards others. Sex. Positive self-talk. Sometimes the only good things you'll hear about yourself are the things you tell yourself. Start building yourself up, encouraging yourself, and begin saying, I can do this. 7. Positive Action When you have a good idea, do it now. Only 2% of people in our society have a bias for action. Resolve that every time you have an idea or something to do, the faster you move, the better you'll be and become. As we draw our discussion to a close, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder. The thoughts you entertain most frequently have the power to shape your destiny. You have witnessed today the profound truth that your mind is a fertile garden, capable of yielding the fruits of your deepest desires or the weeds of your greatest fears. But remember, my friends, the power lies within you to cultivate a garden of abundance, success, and fulfillment. Each day, as you awaken to the dawn of possibility, use your thoughts with intention, with purpose, and with unwavering belief in your inherent potential. Do not be swayed by the wind of doubt or the storms of adversity, for within you lies the strength to weather any tempest and emerge victorious. Nurture your dreams, my friends. Water them with faith, with determination, and with the unwavering conviction that you are destined for greatness. And so, as you journey forth from this moment, let your thoughts be a beacon of hope, a guiding light illuminating the path to your brightest future. For remember, my friends, you become what you think most of the time.